Hi everyone, this is Paul Lang from Discipline Trading Strategies of this week's Trade of the Week video. This week ending December 4th of 2022 and the stock was ZS. This happened on Friday the 2nd. It happened first thing in the morning. Second thing in the morning, it was a tier three gap and it was entered on a two minute DTS breakout play with a secondary sign of strength. The management advanced reward to risk 2.1 to one. The whole trade only lasted about an hour. Why this trade? I always like to mention why I pick a certain trade for the trade of the week. It generally is not necessarily the best trade in terms of money. I'm not sure if this one was or not. It was a good week in the room. We had double the goal for the week, but there were no great trades. There was no one trade that stood out. And that's a good thing. You didn't make your money on one great trade, but just a bunch of consistent trades. This one I picked because it shows some flexibility in your decision-making process, the difference between the long-term and short-term pattern. And it was kind of a unique one in a week where unique trades were really all the feature because I felt it was a choppy trading week as far as the market itself goes. Before we begin what's going on this week, there's nothing at DTS, but I am guest speaking at Traders Exclusive. That's Wednesday at 145. This is not a DTS event, so it will not be recorded or posted on the DTS site. You need to be there. I'm not sure about their policy of recording or sending things to people daily chart of Z's, and this is going to be a gapper. The stock is going to gap down to here this day, and this is very much an either way gap. I call it a tier three, partly because you have to see how the pattern develops. A lot of these have kind of a snowball effect as they go, and if this started to drop, it may very well have ended up being a better short than a long, but it kind of held that area and continued to move up, and that is where I got my entry. I'll show you that in just a second. You can see that it, it ends up being a fairly small bar that day, and this is where I make one of my big points about making money from just ordinary moves, not having to get the record move of the week or the month to make money on a particular stock, but just finding those precise entries where a very high odds expected move can make you good money. 60 minute chart gives you a little better view of the gap but not much else. The whole trade happened inside that first green hourly bar. Five minute chart, you get to see a little bit of the pattern now. Stock opened right there. And I'm going to get my entry right inside of there. Entry over 128.80, stop under 127.70. Went fairly tight with this because this is either going to work or not work. You can see the stock after that initial pop, really that was it. It came back and just kind of rested out for the rest of the day. This may even be lower next week. We'll have to wait and see. But it had that pop coming from some signs that I could see the way it held several times. You will see that a little better on the one-minute chart coming up next. Target one on that first very strong pop, it was a very nice, quick satisfaction type of trade. Target two, because it kept going up, and it, that high there was about a 3R multiple when I got to that high. So I was eager to take it because on a trade like this, you have no way of knowing how high you're going to go. You have absolutely no way of knowing. So you have to just follow those intraday signs a little bit. And target three on a trail as it started to drop, gave some back on target three, but not all of it because it did keep dropping after that. A key here is being flexible. I initially looked at this as a bearish gap. It was a tier three, so it means that it's not necessarily real solid which way it's going. But I looked at it initially as bearish. It was on the bearish watch list, but it was not something you'd ever enter the first 30 minutes of the day. This was entered just right about at 10 o'clock. But you don't enter these early because of the high uncertainty of what's going to be the high or low for the day. Sometimes you could, but gaps like this are better left to settle, find where they're going. And I can see after 30 minutes of trading, it wasn't likely going lower. So I had a good entry long and took that. Here's that entry long, which I really liked. You can see it open right there. And there's that entry. And if you understand the language of charts, you can see where I really like that entry for a variety of different reasons. I pretty much knew what wasn't going lower at that point. How high it would go, I didn't know, but it offered a great entry enabling to make some good money for the day with target one, target two, and target three done in an hour. If you like trades like this that are well planned, well thought out, discussed ahead of time, you're provided with a watch list, you can follow along if you want to. Come join us in the DTS trading room. You can go over to the DTS homepage and figure out how you can join us. Until next time, this is Paul for DTS. Good trading, everybody.